Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. This is Tuesday, October 6th. We begin with the opening sentence from Scripture, from Psalm 19. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be always acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The confession of sin. We say together, Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Divinite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. We will now have the, the psalm reading, and let me just set this up. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 90, beginning with the first verse. We will respond by a whole verse. I will begin. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought forth or the earth and the world were made, you are God from everlasting and the world without end. You turn man back to the dust. You say, return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday even as a day that is past. You scatter them as a night watch that comes quickly to an end. They are even as a dream and fade away. They are like the grass, which in the morning is green, but in the evening is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure and are afraid at your wrathful indignation. You have set our misdeeds before you and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For when you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end as a tale that is told. The days of our life are 70 years. And though some may be so strong that they come to 80 years, yet is their span but labor and sorrow. So soon it passes away and we are gone. But who regards the power of your wrath and who considers the fierceness of your anger? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Turn again, O Lord, and tarry not. Be gracious unto your servants. O satisfy us with your mercy in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. Comfort us again, according to the measure of the days that you have afflicted us, and for the years in which we have suffered adversity. Show your servants your work and their children your glory. 
and may the grace of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands, O oh, prosper our handiwork. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, beginning is, now, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Today's reading is from the um, first epistle of St. Peter, beginning with the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. Again, the first epistle of St. Peter, beginning with the fourth chapter, the seventh verse. The end of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever speaks as one who speaks oracles of God, whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies in order that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. To him belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the spirit of glory and God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful creator while doing good. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. The canticle this morning is the Dinos S, which we found on page 84. Page 84. We say together, splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God from every family, language, and people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God, and so to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor forever and ever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. The Collect of the Day. Keep, O Lord, your household, the church, in continual godliness, that through your protection it may be free from all adversities, and devoutly serve you in good works to the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And a collect for peace for Tuesday. O God, the author of peace and love of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now I have a time for intercession. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this new day. We ask that you would watch over all of our shut-ins and, and actually everybody, because we're all sort of shut-ins right now. Help us, Lord, to minister to one another remotely as what, best we can. And Lord, um, I pray that you would minister to each and every uh, member of our congregation, uh, whether they are shut-in or attending. Uh, help them, Lord, to find peace, to be safe, and uh, grant them your, your grace. Uh, Lord, we would especially pray for our bishops, that uh, bishop applicants that are being chosen right now. I ask, Lord, that you would see that the, the best candidate is selected. And I pray these things in your name. Amen. Father, I ask for your grace to be upon those who are caregivers caregivers to those in their homes caregivers to those in hospitals and clinics and doctor's offices and especially lord those who are caregivers to those with dementia mm. or alzheimer's mm -hmm. father it's a disease that takes them while they are physically with us mentally away from us. The grieving is long and the process is long. And we ask that you lift up and give wisdom and give comfort and power and help them to know that you are holding them in the palm of their hand, just as you hold all of us right now. Thank you, Father, for this gift. Help us to all keep a sense of humor. Uh, holy humor is such a blessing. Father, it is in your name that I ask this. Amen. Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are searching uh, for you, and we pray, Lord, that through the power of your Holy Spirit, that um, they, they find you, that you draw them into your kingdom. Thank you for the conversation I had uh, earlier this morning uh, with someone who's definitely on that path, and ask for uh, your 
power and for your clarity uh, to come upon this person. And uh, may he come into a, a full and life-giving relationship with you. Uh, and we uh, ask that uh, our church continues to be a welcoming place for uh, all people uh, who love you. And for those who don't really know you that much or haven't really thought too much about you recently, Lord, we pray, Lord, that it'll be a welcoming place for them to inquire, to ask questions, uh, to feel uh, part of a, a family, uh, even though they're, they're new. And uh, we ask, Lord, that uh, in, in your good time, that, that they will uh, be welcomed as uh, members of your kingdom and, and your family. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, and for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Um.